In the last 48 hours, you are looking at all those red dots on the eastern half of the United States. Most may seem they would be earthquake reports because it is an earthquake site after all. But when you take the time and check out a site called AmericanMeteorSociety.com, things begin to make a little more sense. When it comes to the confirmed meteor reports, they far outweigh the confirmed earthquake reports. What do I mean by that? Our good friends at the USGS. I can't even tell you how nice it is to have my voice back. And we're going to break down this information right here, right now. Let's go. My friends, welcome back. It is February 19th, 2022, and gosh, is it windy and cold in the Northeast. I will be talking about some of those upcoming weather events, but I've had a lot of people reach out to me asking about the mystery boom slash meteor phenomena we kind of got going on right now. I'm pretty sure we've put enough evidence on this channel to prove that. And I gotta say, some of these videos from the 15th are absolutely incredible. We also had two events take place on the 16th, but unfortunately, there's no footage or shot shots of them. But between those two events alone, there was 51 reports submitted onto American Meteor Society. All of the clips you have seen thus far have all been from the same February 15th event. Now, we will get to those booms in one second, but I wanted to point out how this thing kind of stuck in the sky, especially this clip right here. You can actually see the thing fragmenting, breaking up into pieces, and I know that's not the most uncommon thing to see with a meteor, but it doesn't quite happen all the time. And check out this little piece here. I'll go ahead and show you a snap snapshot first just so you know what to look at but then watch the video again in slow motion and it's almost as if this thing peels off the back of the meteor and almost turns down in a different direction now i'm sure it just could be some sort of light illusion you know how almost like a firework spark could like peel off and go in a different direction than the rest of them but nonetheless very very cool to see now the point i'm trying to make with this is when you see a meteor break up in the sky and you don't just see that streak of light many times in the past those have been the ones that have been heard because it tends to mean that it was closer in the atmosphere for us to actually see it break up. I know many of you remember that meteor in Russia that exploded back in 2013, I believe. We were almost able to see that thing breaking up into pieces for a long period of time before the big concussion came. And my goodness, was that thing huge. And more than likely, one of the biggest celestial events we've ever had in recorded history. And let's not forget, NASA had no clue this thing was coming. So now as we try to make sense of this, of course it's not a 100% fact that each one of these reports on volcano discovery is not an earthquake when you start to line up the reports and you put the data together, you begin to see sort of a pattern. And I'm certainly not claiming to have any definite answers about what this all means, but the fact that the mystery boom phenomena has been in headlines and all over news, specifically in the United States and a huge portion of Eastern Canada, it's a very big reason why I cover this topic so often and more than likely will have no choice but to continue to do so. As far as the bigger headlines that have been in news recently, we had this southwestern Pennsylvania being called a meteor explosion that was caught on satellite radar and a few different explosions that have happened over Louisiana. And yes, I've been personally sent many messages about other mystery booms all over the United States, which I'm currently in the process of putting into one single video. So hopefully the intent is to combine all this information into one video or a series of videos so we don't have to go looking all over the internet to find this type of information. My friends, I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. I apologize for the delay delays in between posts. I have simply not had a voice in a while. It's coming and going, but I feel like we're on the right end of it. Any questions or concerns, please leave down below, and I will talk to you all in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Stop right there, my friends. If you have not already, click that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Click all, and you will get all notifications from this channel, and trust me, you won't be disappointed.